Good morning. First, we're going to start off by enacting protocols. Diamond shield from the black dragon. Ezekiel's flying up here. We've got Archangel Michael over here. Grandmother. Galactic Council. So it is. Alexa, volume down. Alexa, volume down. Um, I wanted to get on here today because me and Morningstar did a live last night, kind of spur of the moment. I wrote uh, a poem, and I actually wrote a poem this morning. Um, getting my creative juices flowing. I feel very empowered uh, this morning and last night. I felt really good about the live. We're going to be pulling some cards for today for all of you. I'm not doing a card reading, but I am going to pull some cards. And I have not looked at them. And they're actually a mixture. They're animal, uh, unicorn, and dragon cards. And... Um, the topic of discussion today is really um, people feeling like they can't do this, maybe they're too, they're too shy. Uh, we had a woman comment on our video last night, on our live, uh, saying that she's too shy and that she is an empath. I hate to tell her, but we're all empathic. We all feed off um, all of each other's energies and other people's energies everywhere we go in life. We're all empathic. And we all have a service in life and we all have a voice and we all have an inner song to spread to the world. And one day, uh, me and Morningstar what we envision uh, to start off with is having land in Colorado where people like like us that have psychic abilities and there are childs of light and masters and, and teachers uh, we want to have like basically a retreat center you know to start off with like having you know acreage of land have a hobby farm where people can come and and you know do the spiritual work with us but later down the road we either want to have a school or a retreat center where you spend two weeks to a month there and we help you attune to your psychic ability and and just attune to your mastery whatever it is it's healing people you know it's uh, healing uh, animals uh, maybe you you travel in past lifetimes maybe you just have psychic abilities and once you start doing this work you start to to notice that People shun you, your friends, your family. Uh, they they don't want to accept you for who you are. They think you have a problem. And a lot of people that um, are actually psychic in the beginning of their lives, they're actually looked at as autistic. Actually, uh, looked at as if they have a learning disability. So um, we want to invite you. And we want to accept you for who you are because you have a gift to spread to the whole world. You have something to offer the world. You have a service. You have gifts to give and receive. And someday I want to basically pave the way for people that uh, have psychic abilities. Um, excuse me, I have to go get my poem because it blew off the table. Sorry about that. I'm back. That fan is not working with me, so I'm gonna hold it down. But really, I just, I wanna pave the way for people that have abilities like I do, and like my girlfriend does. And I want to, and her, someday to be um, mentors to people. Even though we already are 
we already are way showers and we already are um, basically teachers and are masters of our own and we all have specific abilities to impart on people and wisdom to impart on people from our higher self from our our counsel our guides our our people like Archangel Michael is always with me I'm deeply connected to Archangel Michael um, we all have a counsel you know some women have so the goddess Sophia as their as their um, part of their council and other women you know uh, Sophia has a dragon tribe I mean uh, done wonderful things uh, you know like the goddess Quayan gift me a gold dragon that is one of my guides that helps me um, through life and I'm glad that Ezekiel is here I named him Ezekiel uh, and I was gifted that and we all have a, a story to tell and we want to hear your voices and that was really what uh, our objective last night was to what Morningstar's message really was I was kind of half cocked I won't lie she just told me put your ne dragon necklace on and, and come out there and, and, and you know and I was like oh god I don't know what to do and then I just wrote this poem I just it jotted it down in like two minutes and we were just talking like two weeks ago how 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 else can you be creative to uh, get your message out? And what do you know? She's spur of the moment. We're going to go live. And I'm like, I'm half cocked. I don't, I don't know what to do. But, um, you know, I just jotted down the, these poems. Um, and we all have an inner song and we all have a voice. So please, please just uh, tell us your story you have a voice and you are important and you're magnificent in your own way you may just not know it yet I mean I was told uh, by three psychics that I am a healer that I, I have a strong connection with animals uh, that I can truly do just about anything and I'm only 21 just imagine in, in like just, just in two months time I'm doing this and most people don't have the courage to, to do this and, I, and they're a lot older than I am but that's not the point the point is just because I am a master doesn't mean I've honed all my skills yet I'm just trying to learn and progress each day and each step um, you know is a step closer to your mastery and I don't even like to use the word mastery because we all have strengths and weaknesses and we all have a message to give to uh, people so and really that's why I wanted to get on here today and 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 showcase that you guys are not crazy I don't care what your family says I don't care what uh, you know the guy down the street says what your friends say about you because all of them are going to tell you that you're doing the wrong thing that you're making the wrong decision sorry that my water bottle had its cap off so i was trying not to let any negative forces come in and that's why i always set protocols before i start the video uh, it's because you don't want negative forces to come in you don't want um to be uh, infected by anyone else's uh, bad energy and that really the dark energies that try to come in so yeah. And that's really why I wanted to get on here today, was to really um, just show you that you are important. And you all have uh, a story to tell. And you all have a gift, a gifting. You are called to service. Um, you have a high calling in your life, rather you like to admit it or not. And I, I didn't want to accept it at first. You know, at first I was kind of not attuned to my higher self and attuned to my guides. You know, it took me a while just to do card readings. It took me a while just to do lives. And almost in a three-week time, I've had thousands of people tune in to me. I mean, that is that is amazing. I mean, it just shows that little by little you're going to grow and you're going to manifest into who you're supposed to be you just haven't got there yet 
Um, and yes, Christy, I'm glad that you caught, and believe it or not, I do read your guys' comments as the video is going on. I just, sometimes I get caught up in what I'm talking about, so. But I'm going to read two poems for you today. If you didn't catch my last live, um, I'm going to read two poems for you today. And as I read them, I want you to get in a very meditative state. I want you to close your eyes and attune to your higher self and your guides and um, really get into this when I read it off to you. And I'm going to read two poems. So close your eyes and manifest everything you want out of your life when I read this. I will answer your question in a minute, Christy, but I want you to close your eyes and I want you to meditate when I read these poems off to you guys. So just get in a meditative state. Only positive thoughts. This is heaven on earth. It's what you make it. I am a child of the light and repeat after me when I do this. So each line I read, repeat after me. With Archangel Michael by my side, I call to my guides when I close my eyes. Circumstance and worry fall by the wayside, looking through the eyes of my higher self. This could be your heaven or it could be your hell. Do not dwell in your old self, for you have awakened to your higher self. You are a child of the light, so let it shine. The next poem, and keep your eyes closed while I'm doing this, and keep in the meditative state. Just don't let anything interfere with you right now, because you need to hear this, and I'm not saying that you should hear this, but it's essential for your path. Whew. We all have a voice. All of us have a choice. Now it is time to rejoice in the light. Through all the anger and strife, we all truly have one life. All the gifts to give and receive, now it is time to sing your inner song. This is where you belong. This is your psalm. It's time to sing your song. Now get out, snap out of it, come back, get grounded. Um, I felt compelled to read those poems to you all today because I felt like it was powerful and it spoke to me. Um, and I just want to test something. I want to get out my... Uh, I just want to see the flow of energy right now. I want to see the flow of energy. And I'm not moving this. This is the energy I always possess. So I'm just testing the energy of this room. Powerful. There is a power energy in, in here right now. You all are very very powerful okay you asked Christy um, well Christy how I felt when I finally attuned to my higher self like sometimes when I do like uh, car greetings for people and I, I close my eyes and I talk it's not me who are giving myself the words, but it's my higher self. It's the best version of you, and it's going to help you awaken. It makes you feel, when you meditate, it makes you feel that there is bliss and everything down here does not matter. Like your bills, your job, whatever you have in your life, 
it doesn't matter because your higher self and what your guides are telling you and your counsel, that is what truly matters. And it uh, brings you complete happiness. And yes, it, it, it doesn't scare you necessarily. I don't think what you're feeling is scared. I think it's really you being overwhelmed. And trust me, a lot of this is overwhelming. When you are living your best and fullest life and full of positivity and joy, there are things that are going to come that are going to upset you, but it allows you to love yourself for who you are and accept all of the qualities that you don't. And it makes you fully confident in, in who you are and your true self. And what I mean by your higher self, it's the best and full version of you. It's the enlightened version of you. Y you, with your own mind, can dictate how your day goes. You can create your day. You can create, um, you know, your life. You know, everybody thinks that if they do something right, that they're just going to go to heaven. No, it, it, it's really what you make of this life right now. Because past, future, and present is always happening. It's each little intricate moment that you have in your life that is truly going to define what happens and the decisions that you make. So make your decisions carefully. This whole world is truly what you make of it. It's truly what you make of it. This could be hell or this could be heaven. If you want your life to be good and filled with abundance and fruitful and joyous and, and positive and you're confident and you're empowered, that's what's going to happen. But if you're saying, oh, I can't do that. Oh, my life sucks. I'm never going to amount to shit. Then that's what your life is going to be. That's what your life is going to be. It's going to be absolute shit if you want it to be. So you can start off your day by saying... God source energy. I am going to create my day and show me signs that are synchronistic and lead me in the path that you want to lead me and, and, and show me what I'm doing is right. And those things will happen. Like we were talking about going to uh, Colorado, uh, buying land. And guess what? Me and Morningstar pass an auto shop. And guess what? There's a 67 Chevy Impala. That has a Denver Nuggets paint job on the car. You can't make this, this stuff up. We talk about an RV. Then guess what? We're sitting at a Mexican restaurant and an RV just pulls down the street. You can't make that up. That is synchronicity at its finest. That's synchronicity. And life is full of these moments that stop you dead in your tracks. And you can make decisions and define your own future. And we have to all realize that everyone's psychic. They have just never attuned to their gifting. They never attuned to who they really are. I, and, and, it, and it pains me that people have this old way of thinking. They think they're just going to do something right and they're going to go somewhere. You know, go up there. No, this, this life is what you truly make it. Science, uh, yes, science. These things will tell you. Life will pull you in so many different directions. And if you follow this path, your life will, your life will always work itself out and it will always will. You just have to be patient. You know, uh, there's a lot of things that you will you will see into your future, but it just hasn't happened yet. It just hasn't happened yet. And uh, some people just will never get that. And yes, yes, yes. False evidence appearing. Yes, we all have our shadow selves that come come in. And, uh, yeah, I love the comments. I, I mean, I love, I, yes, I love all the comments that you guys are giving me today. 
and uh, I hope this is uh, resonating with you guys, because it seems like it is, wow. Yeah, I, love, I read the comments as I, I watch the video, but sometimes I get kind of caught up in what I'm talking about. Um, but, yes. Life is really what we make it. And once we realize that, that we can manifest our own destiny, we can create our own day. That is beautiful. You can start off just saying, you know, I want this and this to happen. Create your day. Um, that's the dark that you're manifesting, Jenny, that it, not you're manifesting, but there are, the dark is always going to come into your life and try to beat you off the path. That's why I wear this necklace and necklaces and, and beads to protect myself from all negative energy that tries to form it. And you need to set protocols. So whatever you need to do, enact protocols and chuck the negative forces out but and that uh is really uh, uh, the way i used to think about spirituality was all wrong was all wrong i mean and i look back and i'm only 21 i'm only 21 years old uh i mean yeah share out please um and um my girlfriend will also put a link in the description, and if you feel blessed today, please, please donate. And I'm not telling you to give me a million dollars. I'm just saying it's a fair energy exchange. And we all feed off each other, and we all have to realize that we do that. We all, we all feed off one another. Um, and that's, there's not a problem with that. But it is draining to do these things. Um, Alexa, turn down. We got Beethoven in the back, and it's driving me nuts. <laughs> it's driving me insane that Beethoven's, you know, over there pounding on the piano. Um, but yes, we all have a gift to uh, fulfill our destinies and to make us get on a path that's full of positivity. And we have the gift to change people's lives. We all have the gift to change people's lives. And yes, we're all connected together. When we all meditate and we close our eyes, we all connect with one each other. And yes, Zachary, it is rewarding. It is. It truly makes you feel good that you hear these comments and, and people come to tears while they're watching you. I had, a, I had my girlfriend watch me and she came to tears. I had a woman watch me and came to tears that... My message resonated with her and it touched her heart. And that is the whole point of all of this. That is the whole point of what we do here. And people, people think that you're dabbling into evil stuff. You're, you're, you're doing something wrong when really you're touching people's hearts. You're touching people and you don't even realize it when you're meditating. When you meditate you touch everybody and you realize this whole universe is interconnected with you and what and how you connect with everybody and that's a beautiful thing Whew. i'm gonna calm down i had coffee i had protein shake um so i'm gonna settle down because i'm just i'm flying high i am just all over the place but I'm going to pull some cards for you guys today to uh, enact and, and start off your guys' day. I'm going to be pulling some cards for you guys. The first are the dragons. Oh my lord, Archangel Gabriel's dragon brings purification sets discipline excuse me with speed ascension and bring joy you can carry archangel gabriel's diamond what i'm trying to do today i'm trying to make your guys's voices heard i'm trying to get you guys more involved in doing this and touching people's lives and living your best lives and and helping other 
people sing their inner song and bring purification and be a child of the light. Uh, thank you, Zachary. And it, it, I mean, if you guys, um, I want to, I want to interrupt myself. If you guys want to set appointments with me and my girlfriend, we all uh, uh, do um, readings on people. So personal message us. You know, find our Facebook pages and um, we'll we'll contact. We'll respond back to you. I'm doing the videos off my girlfriend's phone, so uh, you'll have to personal message. You can personal message me off my phone. I've already used too much data on my phone, but personal message me and my girlfriend we do readings and we'll and we'll tell you the price range from 15 minutes 30 minutes to an hour and we'll 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 uh schedule an appointment and uh really please make them in the morning because we don't like to really do stuff late at night we're usually reading our dragon book or watching a movie so please make those appointments during the day and we will uh contact you and uh get all that information out um, for you guys to get readings, but yeah, Archangel Gabriel's dragon is very powerful. So bring that white light from his diamond into your uh, Jake um, White Wolf, but um, my actual name um, is Jacob Wolf. Uh, you can I got two Facebook pages. I made a new one, so you're gonna have to. Um, but my my spiritual name is White Wolf. Um. And I'd appreciate it if you didn't ask what my name was uh, on there so it protects my identity. But you're, you'll see that on my Facebook page. But did not mean to come off rude, Zachary. I'm just... Um, but no, we're all, we all need self-discipline. That means go live, you know, touch people's hearts, um, ascend and bring joy. You carry Archangel Gabriel's diamond. So call on Archangel... Uh, Gabriel's uh, dragon to come into your life. And I don't look at these cards when I pull them. That makes them authentic. I almost did. I don't know why. I'm, I'm, I'm all over the place this morning. Um, ooh. A royal blue and gold dragon. Strengthens your power to st stand in... In your power with wisdom. Awaken to your own majesty. Wear your cloak of power with pride. This is my cloak. And uh, Morningstar told me last night that the black dragon told me if I ever pull dragon cards. And look at this necklace. If I ever pull dragon cards. That I have to put up that shield. I have to enact protocols, and I believe the black dragon is actually one of my um, guides because I'm I'm at, I am a man, but I am actually I have more of a feminine side, and I am a lot sensitive. And it took me a while to admit that because you know most guys when you say that they're sensitive, uh, they can kind of tend to get like, no, I'm not. I'm manly, you know, and I I, I do that too. So. Um, but yes, attune to your feminine side more, fellas. Uh, and wear that cloak of power with pride. So let the royal and blue and gold dragon come into your life and put that cloak and protection over you and stand in your truth. Everybody in here, stand in your truth. All right, now we are going to uh, go to the animals. And believe it or not, animals actually uh, play a real particular role and our uh, lives, and actually resemble a lot of ourselves. I think one of my spirit animals is a horse. So, um, yeah, a lot of animals uh, resemble ourselves, and I notice how, like, animals feel so comfortable to me. Like, I rode a horse one time, he felt so comfortable with me, and my girlfriend has a dog, and he just looks at me like he loves me, and I know he does. We, he's probably, he probably was my son in a past lifetime. Alrighty. Wow. Christy, I think you got confirmation, because the gray squirrel... Find new ways of solving problems. Christy, you got your confirmation. And that you need to find new ways of solving all the negative 
uh, stuff in your life and put cast spells on it. Like, and I'm not saying cast spells. Um, I'm saying that when we say stuff, we spell things on ourselves. So when you say you can't do something, when you say you can't do something, you might not be able to do it. But when you say, I'm confident, I am empowered, I am joyful, I am I love my life and I love the positivity that it enforces, then your life will be positive and your life will be happy and abundant. So yes, that is your confirmation, Christy. That gray squirrel is resonating with you. And look at, and the gray squirrel, you see that blue light? What does that mean? That means that Archangel Michael is deeply rooted with the gray squirrel. So let that light blue beam of light source through you. I'm glad you do. Alrighty. Now, we have the Unicorn Oracle card. And we're actually going to get a new, me and my girlfriend are going to get a new book about angels and angel oracle cards. So, tune into that too. Um, best friends. Best friends. True friends stick together no matter what. Like I said... If people were really your friends, they would accept you for who you are and what you do. And if they're not accepting you for who you are, they're not really your friends. If they're casting negative energy on you, they're not really your friend. So, these people on here are really your friends. I mean, you're going to meet your own spiritual tribe one day, all of you. And you probably already have. Um, and they're going to um, invoke happiness. And they're actually going to feel like they are your brother or your sister. And you're going to feel connected with them because you've had past lifetimes with them. Rather they've been your brother. Rather they've been your mother. Rather they've been your father. Rather they've been your sister. Or maybe a significant other. Because me and my girlfriend has had 533 lifetimes together. Um, and, you know, people on the other side, like my sister and mother and her father, you know, brought us together. And some people may never understand that. But that's my truth, and I stand in it. And you should stand in your own truth, too. No, your tribe won't abandon you or judge you, because they accept you for who you are, and you should love yourself. Like, I have a self-love workbook that I have, and I've been writing through it and trying every day to love myself. And to uh, accept the things that I don't love about myself. And we all have to do that. So, um, yes. Wow. We've got a lot of information today. So, a two Narc Angel Gabriel's Dragon, the Royal Blue and Gold Dragon, the Gray Squirrel, and your tribe. Attuned to those energies. Um... But I also would like to burn some sage for you all. And this is the good stuff. The other stuff we got is not that great. This is the white sage and it smells wonderful. It smells glorious. Blessings upon all of you today. Blessings. That I hope that this touched you today. And I hope that this message resonated with you today. I hope these cards resonated with you today. I hope that my poems resonated with you today. And they touched you and hopefully they will make you get on here and do a live and spread your message and your story because you all have a voice and you all have your inner song it's rather you're choosing to sing or not 
So blessings upon your family, this nation, my family, and all of you today. Blessings upon all of you. Let's just let that burn for a minute. And we'll light it up some more. Now I want you just to take a minute to, to resonate with this entire message today and get in a deep meditative state. And just think about new ways to solve problems. Think of the dragons that I talked about today. And know that you are a child of the light. You have your song of your life. You have something inside of you to give to the world. And you have gifts at your disposal. And you're truly important and you have a high calling on your life to live your best and fullest life and touch the heart of other people. I want you all to take this energy in right now of what I'm doing. I want you to take it in and get the, the white diamond light from Archangel Gabriel's dragon and wear your cloak of power. Stick to your tribe and find new ways of being positive and solving problems in your life. And don't care what people think of you on this path because you are truly important and you are the way showers and you are the teachers you are the masters that are going to pave the way for all of the young people that have these psychic abilities and that pray to god source energy and find their counsel and their tribes and they're attuned to their abilities and attuned to their higher self just sit right now and let this marinate and resonate with you all. Sorry. I have sweat under my eyes. I'm sweating. Like I've been working out. But, uh... Message me and my girlfriend if you guys want readings done, if you want a one-on-one -on -one action. Um, we are here to help. We want to uh, guide you. And me and her will do it together. But if you felt blessed here today, feel free to donate. Um... And sing your inner song that's inside of you. Um, and be your authentic self and live your best and fullest life. And don't shut yourself out. And if you're shunned by anyone else, we're not shunning you. This is White Wolf. Signing off. And so it is. You all have a blessed day.